Welcome back, Honorable Bababudan is still with us here you, in the Mopesh. studios and uh, you were t t explaining to us whether or not you know, it was the amount that was spent on the vehicles or the fact that the vehicles were bought at all. That was your problem. Yeah, the problem, like I said, we suspect sleaze and that that shouldn't be the priority of the state government now. So in other words, the security vehicles could have been purchased but at a transparent market rate. Of course, procurement process were not even followed. No tender, no advert, no bidding. Processes were not. I don't even think that such process, it wasn't even budgeted for. It wasn't. So these are extra budgetary. They are, they are just flimsy purchases. purchases. But would to, you say to, that to would you say that Kogi State has uh, a big enough security problem for uh, vehicle, for vehicles to be purchased for the security operatives? Uh, well, uh, to me, the security situation has just been aggravated. But of course, there has to be security problem issues when civil servants people are not paid in an environment that people are paparized. It's, it's, in fact, like I'm talking, it's, it's, it's really tensed in Kogi State. Workers are not paid. So security is a big issue? Security is an issue. But you will not support, are you saying that you will not support the purchase of vehicles for political appointees? You see, what we are saying, mm -hmm. the purchase of vehicle is being used to aid sleaze. It shouldn't, okay, like I said, for a state at this time that some workers are being owed for upward of nine, ten months at the state, then at the local government, 25 months, you make purchase of vehicle a priority, purchase of vehicle to ministries whose workers have not been paid, purchase of vehicles to local government chairmen whose workers have not been paid, Purchase of vehicle to paramilitaries that are even richer than the state. They have their vehicles. But our views, processes were not followed. There, there's a lot of circumvention because the mayhem was sleaze. Did you bring this to the notice of the government? Of course, when we, we petitioned them to, to the, 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 the anti graft agencies, they are aware. What was their response? Of course, you, their response was to make some adverts. They were not direct on the point. In fact, I am surprised when I had the SA media talking about just 110 vehicles. I have a list here. They have bought over 200 vehicles, running 300 vehicles. Mm. So in conclusion now, would you say that, uh, how, how do you intend to see or how do you want this case, this matter to proceed in terms of the purchase of vehicles? Of course, we have asked the anti graph agency to make a forensic look at their finance book. In fact, purchase of vehicle is just one of it. What we are saying, the anti graph agency should come to Kogi State, particularly in this regime of change where they, say, they claim or the president claims to be fighting corruption. That corruption is really happening in Kogi State, unchecked. Honorable, I have to say thank you for coming on Sunrise Daily. We've been speaking to Honorable Danladi Bababudan, who is a former member of the Kogi State House of Assembly. Thank you again. Uh, Sunrise Daily continues now, gentlemen. Well, yes, indeed, we're drawing the curtains, but I've just been thinking if I'm forgetting something. They say they are oh, appointees, but I checked. Appointees are not elected officials. Absolutely. So, but... Well, uh, there you go. That's the show today. We thank you for watching. I'm Chamberlain Uso. Many thanks. I'm Sliman Alede. And thanks as always for your contributions. I'm Alfredo.